Hello everyone, welcome again to the channel. Today I want to talk to you about another episode in our series How to be more attractive and today is the episode number 6. As you know this is a um, topic related to Gnostic psychology. So let's get started. As, uh, as you who know, when you have seen the previous episodes, the main thing is um, how to improve ourselves. Uh, so to improve yourself and to have better results in life, you need to have um, specifically some traits and these traits will help you uh, be more attractive. And what do we want to attract? We want to attract better circumstances in our life, we want to attract uh, abundance, happiness, even a romantic partner. So all of these things are possible if we become more attractive. And as you know, psychology, Gnostic, Gnostic psychology wants um, to provide a solution for all this, an enduring solution, not just uh, some tricks or something temporary. And the topics we are going to cover today are number one, take care of yourself first, second, control your emotions, and the last one, enforce your standards. So let's get started with the first one. Take care of yourself first. Um, this is necessary. Uh, it seems to be uh, very obvious, but uh, for a lot of people, who are struggling, trying to please others, trying to give others um, what, um, what sometimes they don't even themselves have. So that makes it um, a little bit challenging. But the source of this uh, lack of uh, self-care is uh, actually in the ego, because we are not sure of ourselves, we have insecurities. So, if you really want to um, enforce this um, self-care, the real solution, the enduring solution, is actually to practice meditation, to practice self-observation, to discover exactly why you neglect yourself and why you take care of the needs of others uh, before yours. And uh, by doing self-observation and meditation, we can find uh, the, let's say, the mistake we're making, the ego that is uh, preventing us from living life uh, in the proper way. And we can eliminate this ego and actually um, practice all these, uh, all these steps in a more natural way not like uh, self-discipline, um, it's not like self-discipline is uh, incorrect, I think with self-discipline you can achieve a lot of things, but um, it depends on your willpower, so sometimes you will not be in your best uh, position in life, emotionally, mentally, and then you will go back to your always, to your negative ways, but I, I think this is uh, the best solution and what are, what are the things that we need to do to take care of ourselves? Of course, pay attention to your own needs, to your wishes, to your plans, to your goals, to your dreams first. Achieve the things you want. You need to be safe and in a good position in life uh, before you can take care of someone else. and. This is uh, something that should be self-evident, but it is, it is not in many cases. It is necessary for you to pamper yourself, be kind and generous to yourself. I have uh, seen a lot of people who are extremely generous to others, but uh, are somehow they feel unable to do something nice for themselves, uh, even to buy something nice for themselves. They are 
perfectly capable of giving even expensive gifts to others, but they cannot even buy themselves, um, I don't know, a nice perfume or a nice watch or whatever it is that uh, should give them some kind of a pleasure. They, they, they feel um, uncomfortable being generous with themselves. So, in a summary, it's better and it is uh, actually completely natural to give to yourself before giving to others. And this is, uh, in summary, what, uh, what we should do. And by doing this, people will understand that you are a man that um, appreciates himself and this will bring you respect respect from others, uh, whether they are men or women, someone who takes care of himself uh, will earn the respect of others. And this is uh, some of the things we, we want. <clears throat> Second um, topic is control your emotions. And again, uh, in the context of Gnostic psychology, the only way to actually practice Stoicism which Stoicism is the ideal for how to control your emotions. To really be able to practice Stoicism is uh, necessary to eliminate negative emotions and feelings and not just practice uh, this um, in a mechanical way, in a superficial way. So if we really want to be able to practice uh, control of our emotions, we need to practice meditation uh, to eliminate the egos that are causing uh, all these problems that are creating weakness in our character, in our personality. And we do this by self-observation and uh, other things that we already mentioned in previous episodes. So you can look up for those episodes where I speak in detail about how, how can you eliminate negative emotions and feelings. And the practice of Stoicism um, entails four, four aspects. The first of them is prudence. So it is necessary to do things in the right way. For, uh, for this, it is necessary, of course, to be able to see the situation in a calm way uh, so you can understand what is the right uh, course of action. So to be prudent, to be really prudent, you need to have like superior character, superior moral, and most of all, control of your emotions. You should not be uh, displaying negative emotions, which will uh, steer you away from doing the, the right thing, which is uh, prudence in this case. Justice, uh, it is probably impossible to do proper justice when you are not even embracing justice yourself. A lot of people will abuse of others, they will even abuse of themselves or they will let others abuse of them and this is never justice. So again for for the practice of justice, for the real practice of justice, uh, it is necessary to eliminate the negative emotions, the negative uh, egos that uh, will enable us to actually be fair and just. Fortitude, it is uh, again a very good virtue that we, we should strive to, to accomplish in our lives, especially as men. We need to have fortitude so we can have um, a, a superior position, emotional position in life, whether it is um, times of, uh, of good, good uh, circumstances or where we are experiencing difficult circumstances. When we have fortitude, we should be able to have a stable, stable emotional um, behavior and we should not be affected by, by difficult situations. We should be able to continue living, continue doing the right thing despite of the negative situations, the, the difficult situations. And the last one is temperance. For temperance, again, is uh, 
probably the summary of um, the control of your emotions when you should not be moved to anger you should not be moved to sadness you should have a um, stable positive uh, attitude for life despite of circumstances you should be completely independent of others you should not depend on others or even on external circumstances to have uh, your emotions the way you want them if you want to feel happy you can be feel happy even in the worst uh, of circumstances and for this you should also be able to enjoy happiness in a moderate way not uh, be completely uh, without balance this is actually temperance is about balance balance in emotions balance in feelings and this is uh, the the best way and this is absolutely necessary for a man to have complete control of uh, their emotions and feelings <clears throat> Lastly, the third topic is to enforce your standards. Especially uh, in relation to women, it is necessary to have high standards and uh, don't accept things, behavior, uh, etc., which doesn't fit uh, your standards. For this is of course necessary to first develop uh, strong boundaries, strong standards of what you want, what is acceptable, what is not acceptable. You should even make a list, uh, maybe mental list or in any other way, because some people or some men actually don't, don't even think about it. They just go through life and they decide sometimes uh, to accept something that should not be accepted. And this creates more, more negativity from both uh, men and women that are coming into your life. So you should have standards and live according to them. Accept only what you deserve. And especially in relation to women, you should look beyond the surface, beyond the appearance. You should be very selective, very picky, and actually demand women good behavior, uh, positive behavior, uh, moral behavior, whatever you want from a woman, you should um, be ready to demand it. And if uh, your standards are not being met, uh, you should reject this person. And this is something that men are not used to do. They, they are um, sometimes, um, let's say, too lenient they accept uh, many many negative things and this can be actually um, applied in many areas of life if you're a father you also have to have to be standard to be selected to be picky to demand good behavior from your children demand good behavior in your work from your colleagues even from your boss, customers, uh, suppliers, whatever it is in your life, whether you're a business owner or just an employee, um, this is uh, something that you can um, apply to your life and will bring you very positive results. And uh, especially with women, it's sometimes hard to look beyond the surface. You just see a beautiful body, beautiful face, and you accept all kind of negative behavior just because a woman is beautiful. So being like this will actually, again, uh, like many of these things that we mentioned, will bring you respect. And respect is something that will also create some um, big level of attraction. Attraction from women and from men. So this is something we want. And it is necessary to, to do it uh, persistently and consistently in, in all our lives and in all our circumstances, in all the areas in which we function. <clears throat> so to finish, um, I want to say that it's necessary to take control of your life and with this series of episodes we want to give you the information that you require so that you can accomplish this. And that's all I wanted to say for now. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. 
And as always, I want to remind you about the opportunity to help me support my work. Uh, in the description of each episode, I include information about different platforms you can use to support me with donations. If you want to, you can also like uh, this episode, share it in social media, and subscribe. I hope to see you again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode.